So somebody asked me about using Wix to build commercial sites. He's been doing it for about a year as, I guess, a freelancer using Wix to build out people's websites. Now, some of you may be surprised to hear this. I was initially, when I looked out there, I don't know, about a year ago, I was checking out a job site, I believe it was in Indeed.com, and uh, to my surprise, there were listings for Wix developers, people who would use the Wix platform to put up commercial websites, I, su I, suppose, I suppose for small business owners. Being a developer, being a coder for so many years now, it seems kind of weird to me. But now that I think about it, I remember when WordPress first came out and other content management systems, I used to think that was silly as well. Because, you know, how hard is HTML and CSS? How hard can it be? But to my great surprise, these content management systems, WordPress being the most prominent one, became hugely important. So if you look at Wix today or, uh, or Shopify or uh, Squarespace and there are other web builders out there, not just Wix, even though they're much easier to use than, say, building from scratch using a template or something, it, uh, it's still something that many small business owners don't want to tackle. I've addressed this in other videos in terms of freelance work, I call it becoming a web professional. A web professional is not necessarily somebody who is uh, a developer, although you could be. A web professional is somebody who knows how to put up websites, knows the different options, knows you can build from scratch, so you know your HTML, CSS, a little JavaScript maybe. PHP doesn't, help, doesn't hurt either. You know Wix, you know Squarespace, you understand when those type of builders make sense. You understand when Drupal or WordPress or Joomla makes sense. You understand hosting option. You understand domain names, all these sorts of things. This is what a web professional brings to the table. This is a fantastic niche, if you will, and I call it a niche with hesitation because it's such a huge demand. This type of freelancer is going to make a lot of uh, money because there's just so many small businesses out there who are positioned on the web in some form or another. And they don't have all this knowledge, right? They don't, they don't understand the differences between these different platforms. They're probably not aware of most of these platforms. So your job as a consultant, web professional, is to direct them in the right direction. So once again, Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, uh, they're, they're not competition. They're not taking away from web design and development. They are just tools in your toolbox. So this guy was saying, I use Wix, I've been developing sites for Wix, but I got a more, a bigger client, as best I can understand his email, I got a bigger client, and um, I want to be able to service this bigger client. Can I use Wix? Well, if you know Wix, you should go in there, first of all, talk to your client, see what their needs are, and then you as a web professional can determine whether or not the Wix platform can support that. The thing about these web builders, they have their place and they're useful, but they're typically limited. The simplification comes at the cost of flexibility. As you simplify and simplify, simplify and simplify whatever technology that you're looking at, whether it be in the text, web tech space or anything else, when you simplify, you usually, you usually remove options that you have on the table. So you have to determine for the job at hand whether you need those options or not. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. So that is the story. All right. That's it for today's vlog. Bye-bye. If you're going to get into web design or web development, you're going to have to learn hosting sooner than later. Why? Because a big part of being a web developer or web designer is to understand servers and hosting, the different options. So this web hosting company, they trust that you're going to stay with them. So they're willing to pay 
for your web design training, all you have to do is click on the link below. You buy one year worth of basic hosting. That's all you need to start with. And you'll get access to my full stack web development course for free. So it's a very, very good deal. This is something that they approached me with a little while ago, about a month ago. I put out a survey, about eight, 900 people responded. More than half said they would be really into this deal. In addition to buying the hosting to get your free web design training with my interactive training system, Studio Web. This is much, much, much better than simple video-based training. Video-based training is fine. Books are fine, but what Studio Web is a fully interactive, gamified training system with instant response, instant help, instant feedback, so you know exactly where you are all the time, plus huge amount of quizzing and code challenges. There's nothing like it out there. We built it from scratch. Now, you may be somebody who's already done my web development course and you want to maybe get into my freelancing and entrepreneur course. So what I will arrange when you buy the web hosting from the company, you could either choose the web stack course or if you want, I'll create another package that you would get for free, the entrepreneur and freelancing course. Now, there you go. So you got a great option. So you want to get into web design development, have the web hosting company pay for you. You need to learn about web hosting anyway. Some of you may be asking, yeah, but I'm just starting out. I'm, I'm not going to need web hosting right away. With my course, within the first hour, you can start uploading your web pages to the live server to learn how to use a live server, understand domain names, all this kind of stuff. Consider it part of your training. Now remember, a lot of people will go to boot camps and pay five, ten, twenty thousand dollars to learn real world software development and web development and so on. This web hosting company is gonna pay for you. You just gotta buy one year worth of basic hosting from them. That's it. Now on the other hand, if you already know your web design development and you're ready to monetize it to turn into either a business, freelancing, or maybe get a job, again, get the web hosting good way to promote yourself is to get a website up. Everybody should have a website, your own personal website. Remember, you can't just have a social media presence anymore because you see, you know, regardless of the politics, social media giants like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, if they don't like you, it can shut you down. So you have to have your own website. So if you're really interested in the entrepreneur and freelance course, I'll throw that in as a package. So you have two options, get web hosting, get your web stack training, or get the web hosting and get your entrepreneur and the freelance course for free. They're gonna pay for it. The company trusts that you're gonna like their service so much that they're willing to pay for your training. All right, I hope you like this deal. Link below. Thanks, bye-bye.